Welcome to Math TV with Professor V. I have another integral of the day for you on this Thursday, November 17th, 2022. So we have antiderivative of x to the fifth times e raised to the negative x cubed dx. Take a minute, marinate on this one. But the key comes from recognizing that we can rewrite x to the fifth as x squared times x cubed, why yes indeed, and then we have still e to the negative x cubed dx. And hopefully this will help you see that we're going to make a change of variables. I would normally say, oh yeah, let's do u substitution, but when we let u equal, say, x cubed, right, then du would involve x squared and dx, but I'm still gonna have an extra variable in there that I'm gonna need to take care of by using integration by parts later. So since I can see that, instead of using up the variable u, what I'm gonna do right now is just let t equal x cubed, all right? And then that means dt is 3x squared dx, perfect. So one third dt is x squared dx which I have right here, yes, x squared dx. And then I do like to always put my constants outside. If you've watched my videos for a while, you know this. So we've got the one third outside integral, x squared dx, just dt. Then this x cubed is t, and then I have e to the negative x cubed, which is gonna be e to the negative t. So see, yes, we're not done. We still have to use integration by parts to complete the problem, which is why I didn't want to use up my letter U because I can use it right now. So we're going to let choose U and DV appropriately when we have exponential function multiplied by polynomial. U is always the polynomial. So that means DV is going to be E to the negative T dt. And what about the one third you say? Don't worry about it. It's just going to sit outside the whole time. So du is equal to one times dt. And then v would be negative e to the negative t. All right, looks good. So now we have one third times product uv right here. So that's going to be negative t e to the negative t minus the integral of v du. But since there's another minus sign sitting there, I'm going to write plus integral e to the negative t dt. How are we doing? Very good. Now we can anti-differentiate that, no problem. Just don't forget that one third negative t e to the negative t minus e to the negative t. Mm -hmm. So good. Then I'll just put a big plus c out here. And then I'm going to back substitute. So remember, t was equal to x cubed. And let's just go ahead and distribute the one third while we're at it. So negative one third instead of t, that's x cubed, e to the negative x cubed, minus one third e to the negative x cubed plus c. So you could leave it like that. Or you could say, you know what, I think it was wholly unnecessary to distribute that one third. Let's leave it more factored. So what you could do instead, actually, we could take out an e to the negative t, one third, e to the negative t. Let's take out a minus sign with it. And then you're going to have t plus one left over. Yes. Okay. And then we can back substitute and say, all right, t was x cubed, so e to the negative x cubed times x cubed plus 1 plus c. So here's an alternative way of writing your final answer. Which do you prefer? Comment down below. This does look like a wild mess, doesn't it? This one I feel like, oh, I can grasp what's going on a wee bit better. So I hope you enjoyed the integral of the day. Give the video a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also catch me on Instagram and TikTok at Math TV with Professor B. See you later, guys.